Welcome back to another edition of Media Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm your host, Mary Therese Griffin. Today, we're excited to have on the program Nick Richmeyer. Nick joins us today from Culture Craft, and you are one of the subject matter experts who is doing it right. And we are so appreciative, Nick, that you're here to help us guide us through this crazy world of marketing and media. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you, Mary Therese. Nice to be here. Let's talk about what you all do at Culture Craft and how important it is for people to have a solid message and the content is king and you guys can help them with the roadmap to success. Yeah, so we're a comprehensive brand agency. What we do is help people find their competitive positioning. Uh, We really focus heavily on the strategy side. So how do we really take that nugget, that one thing that's unique and true about any given company, any given uh, organization and present that forward so that it becomes the highlight of what they do. Because in the end, uh, as we say all the time, is that the brand has to tell the truth. And the best truth about a company is that thing that they have that nobody else has and the courage to um, step out and be that thing out in the world rather trying to kind of blend and trend, which is what too many companies are trying to do. I love the fact that you use the C word, meaning courage, <laughs> It's so important. I would love for you to share with us maybe just a a light bulb moment with a client because they actually took your advice. They stepped out of that box for a little bit and they found that road to success because of the advice that you all gave them. It's got to be gratifying when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, gosh, there's so many. Um, I mean, I think in particular... Um, there's always a hinge point in the design process. So we work well on messaging and on design and on strategy and all those things produce kind of courage inflection points when you're doing them correctly. But often the risk really comes in the design process because there's such an impulse to do what's already been done and to see what's already been seen. And so, um, you know, I can think about one client in particular where, um, they were very biased toward doing something that was just a mild iteration of what they had done before. Um, they had they were in the business services space working with um, uh, kind of attorneys and CPAs and that kind of a thing. And we really challenged them to position them in the in the marketplace much more boldly than they had before. They had um, kind of muted colors and all that kind of stuff. And we went with actually uh, a color that I'm wearing today. Um, and they're like, well, red, isn't that supposed to be risk and fear and all that? And our design team really was able to say, Hey, you need to stand out and here's why. And here's, you actually are this incredibly bold organization and your visual representation should look, look and sound like that. Um, and it has been rocket fuel for them uh, just the process, uh, from that, all of the kind of the courageous moves after that decision, People would go, well, what, what, what's, what's the big deal about a color? But the reality is that decision ended up being a head domino for so many others um, as that company has moved forward and as we've worked with them. You know, sometimes, sometimes, Nick, it takes outside ears and outside eyes to help somebody to reach that achievement. And, you know, my, my daddy always told me, if you always do what you always did, you're always going to get what you always got. So... Yes. Why is it crucial for organizations, companies, big or small, to partner with a culture craft and and, and be part of a bigger team? Why is it important for a partnership? Yeah, I mean, I always say, speaking of old sayings, I always say nobody knows what their own face looks like. Um, Right. And yeah, we may look we may look in the mirror. We may do all those things. But at the end of the day, it takes someone staring deeply into who you are to reflect back to you and say, this is who you are. And this is your opportunity to excel at who you are, because we've been looking at you and we've been paying attention. And from that paying attention, this is what we see. And it's that level of attentive a kind of gazing into the client that I think makes the difference when you have an outsider who's willing to do that because we all just, we're not good judges of of the things that we make. We need outsiders to help us see them clearly. I love the way you see my friend and Nick, you are the mirror of success with culture craft. Thanks for what you do. And you guys are killing it. Keep doing it. All right. Well, nice to be with you today. Thanks so much for the time. I hope you'll come back and visit us again and and tell us about the great things that are happening with your company. Thanks for being here. 
All right, thank you. If you'd like to know more about what's happening with Culture Craft and Nick, we can make the connect for you. It's easy to do. Go to dailyadbrief.com. Hope you'll join us again for more Media Champions. I'm Mary Therese.